Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an all day first impression wear test on this foundation from The Ordinary. So I have two here. I wasn't sure which color mine was going to be. And um, so I bought a 1.2 in and a 2.0 in. So today I've actually only used the 2.0 in. I did not um, highlight underneath. So this is basically the foundation itself. We're gonna do, again, an all day wear test. I usually don't blot, I don't put on additional powders, etc. cetera. I, I make the foundation work through a full work day. So we're gonna see how well The Ordinary does with this foundation. So let's get ready to go on a journey together. And poof, here I go, no makeup. Okay, so let's do our first impressions of The Ordinary full coverage foundation. It says to dispense a small amount into the palm or back of your hand, smooth on and blend throughout the face, ideally outward from the midpoint of the face. So this is a high coverage foundation. It is this big, so it's super cute, easy to travel with. I like the plastic so you don't have to worry about if you drop it, the glass breaks. So we're going to start out with our, our my favorite, Scandinavia, and that is a primer spray. It is oil control. And my face is looking better from that L'Oreal tearing it up. Y'all, it was a bad day with the L'Oreal anti-aging three-part whatever. It, I broke out in hives. It, whew, it was ugly. So, I will say thankfully to some cold pressed aloe put on several times a day, it has knocked out all of the issues that that anti-aging nighttime cream did to it. So, sorry for going off on a, a tangent when I'm supposed to be talking about the ordinary. I just can't believe how bad that hurt my face. Okay, so I put two pumps on my little brush and we are going to start brushing away. All right, so I'm going to do one pump for the forehead and maybe a little bit more of this cheek area. And we'll do a little baby pump for the neck. Let's look at how that did. Ooh, that did lovely. Nice. Usually my nose has issues. It covered my chin well. Yeah, it went on really flawless. So this feels very lightweight. It looks kind of flawless and it did a good job with just, you know, a couple pumps and covering. So we're going to see how this does for the rest of the day. So stay tuned. Okay, so it is end of day. It has been approximately 12-ish hours with this makeup. No touch up, no blotting, no additional powder. So what you saw me leave for work for this morning is how this foundation looks. Um, so I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of impressed. So let's do a review on this ordinary foundation. I don't know that I would call it ordinary. So, oh my gosh, like, Y'all know from some of my other foundation videos, I always, always, always have trouble with my nose section kind of breaking apart. And to be honest, not bad after 12 hours. Like, holy crud. And my chin, I know I tested it. I caught myself several times today with my head on my, my chin, on my hands as I was looking at the computer and it didn't break apart. So I also have to say that um, I ran into someone that I know during working hours and they said, 
what did you do different with your makeup? And I said, well, I, you know, I'm testing out a new product. Why? And they said, oh my gosh, your foundation, it looks really natural and it looks light. Like you don't have foundation on, but your coverage looks really good. So you know when you go to work and they're used to you testing products, um, maybe they know or they don't know. In fact, this person didn't know. But they make a comment that, wow, your makeup looks great. Your foundation looks great. What kind are you using? That's a great sign. So with all the other foundations that I've tested, I've not had that happen. I think I'm just now a full-time subscriber slash user of The Ordinary. I thought Marc Jacobs was one of my favorites. I thought Revlon Color State was one of my favorites. Nope. After today, I am a full believer in The Ordinary. I can't tell you how super pumped I am that uh, my nose didn't break apart. To be honest, it is swampy and hot. And okay, the shine isn't overwhelming for over 12 hours. I'm pumped. I'm a believer. So I can't wait to hear. Does anyone else, have you tried it? Have you used it? Um, do you have dry skin? Do you have combo skin? Do you have oily skin? Like what kind of skin have you had and tried this foundation? I'm really curious to see what your thoughts are. And I'm really curious to see what would my foundation have been had I blotted today, for instance, with a little bit of oil and then maybe a little bit of powder, how great that this foundation might have looked. And really and truthfully, just blotting with a regular cotton pad, not bad at all. Y'all, give the ordinary a chance because this is fantastic. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. I think this foundation for me might be an absolute life changer. So let's hope with the ordinary selling their company that whoever just purchased them um, does not change their formulation in any of their face products. And my God, definitely not with this foundation. So hope you enjoy this review and we'll talk soon. Till next time. Thank you so much for joining me today and my all day wear test review on the skin foundation from The Ordinary, this high coverage foundation formula. This was in the color 2.0N. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've tried this foundation, I'd love to hear what your results were. And also let me know, are you dry skinned? Are you combo? Are you oily? I'm absolutely curious to see how this performed on you. Um, so far in the morning, as you guys know, I loved how it looked. It, it's pretty, it's lightweight. So um, I really wanna know how you like this on you. And if you haven't, are you gonna purchase it? Is this on your to-do purchase list to put in your arsenal? So I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.